Hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Machab, Badash. I want to say double honors to our apostles of GMS who move well. Uh, blessed salutations to you, brothers out there teaching the darn truth with sincerity. Say Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Uh, with that being said, I'm on a shekel maker, so uh, I don't, I don't got my, uh, my, I do got my soul with me. It's in my bag, but I'm, as you see, I'm, you know, in route right now. I'm driving. So um, outside of that, man, I wanted to do a lesson on it. I wanted to actually get a chance to sit down and do it, but you know, I've been so busy that I wasn't able to sit down. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna, uh, I'll forget it. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here and do this lesson on route. You know, um, and basically going over, um, can't say, uh, don't be seen, don't be heard, you know, in, a, um, in the wrong way, man, you know what I'm saying? Or, or don't be, don't be seen, don't be heard, and being seen, being heard in the wrong way, you know, so, because cause in the scriptures, I mean, with, within his walk in the truth, we have the uh, the tendency right to, uh, you know, have a sense of, of pride or a level of pride that we want to uh, execute to everybody. And it's not necessary, you know. Um, there's things that is, that's not necessary to, to be, to, don't be a show off, man. For lack of better words, don't be a show off. Don't be somebody that's, you know, uh, uh, flexing, you know what I'm saying, for the, for lack of better words. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying, we, you know, there's a scripture that says, you know, uh, uh, let another man praise thee. Because I understand, I understand the rhetoric when you're getting this truth, you know what I'm saying, or just as a human being, you work for something or you have a sense of pride in something, you get a pair of new shoes, you have an accomplishment, you do something that you're proud of, you want other people to notice, but it's not up to you, you know what I'm saying, to uh, make a person notice, man, because it, it doesn't make it sincere at that point. It doesn't make that rec recognition sincere, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I forgot there's a saying that's something, something around about that, that way of saying, when, when you're good, you don't have to tell people, they'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have, you know, if you do something great, people will tell you that you did something great, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, always tell somebody, you know, look at this or check this out, unless it's for edification, man. You know, that the scripture said, let all things be done unto edification. You know, because there's brothers that are, that are, that are post videos and they share videos and it's for edification. That's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to be that guy that just want to be seen because it makes you feel better. You know what I'm saying? And it makes you feel like a better person. You know, uh, as the script, like again, the script say, let another man praise thee. The script say, boast not of thy raiment. The script say, exhort one another daily. Now exhort yourself, but exhort one another daily. We should be putting that energy and exhorting other brothers. You know what I'm saying? As Apostle Kabar said, I say we as in myself. You know, because yeah, you got a sense of pride, we got a sense of accomplishment. When you do something or you buy something or you have something new or you know, something that's that you're proud of that doesn't it doesn't edify, but it's just a self-pride that you're like, yo, man, this, this is dope. I wanna show everybody, you know, but that's that's not something that should be put out there, man. You should you should wanna move in silence. You, you should wanna be that person that's not noticed. You know what I'm saying? That's not heard. The only time you need to be noticed and be heard is when you're on the highways and byways. Hey, case in point, you know, these niggas with these uh, uh, um, these niggas on, on, on social media, you know, putting out, putting out videos, putting up posts, you know, either, either using a, the word as a tool for attention or you 
you got a gun and you talking about let somebody run up in there, let the enemy run up, I'm gonna do them this and do them that. You know, if you, you don't, you're not supposed to be seen to be heard. That's why it's called concealed carry, dumbass. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to let nobody know you got a gun. You know, me me as a person, as a fighter, I would say as a, I, I wouldn't say as a martial artist, I was, you know, I do boxing and Muay Thai. So I'm not gonna tell before the fight or parade around, I'm a, I'm a black belt. You know, there's just no belt system in boxing or Muay Thai, but I'm just saying that as an example. You know what I'm saying? Because you want the element of surprise. You want to be able to hit that person and they, they find out <laughs> through how hard you punch that you're a boxer. You know, you want them waking up dizzy saying, hearing somebody yell in the background, don't do it, he's a boxer, but it's too late, you already rock. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have been fucked with that boxer. Oh, he was a boxer, yeah. You know, so if it's great, people will tell you, man. When you're doing something, people will tell you, but you shouldn't be searching for it, man. You know, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's an endless, it's an endless um path, and it's a um a path that's not worth it, man. Because the same people that appraise you, they they're not they're not helpful to you in the ministry, or they're not helpful to you accomplishing that. I'm not saying that you know you're Akim, you out there, you get a, I get a new jacket. I'm in that motherfucking shrugging my shoulders, flexing, and just to get attention and say, oh, that's a new jacket, I like that. Nah, man. You know, but on the other hand, as being a brother, you're supposed to exhort one another daily, man. Take your time out your day to, to show your appreciation to the icon, because, of course, on the other hand, you are looking for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you deserve it or, or we need to pacify each other, but shit, we in this hellhole, man. Brothers need to know that, yo, that, that, hey, man, that, that was dope that you did. Because just like lessons, man, a brother put a lesson out there, you gotta, you know, it's good to let a brother know, yo, that lesson was fire, G. Because when you tell them that, it makes them, you know, encourage them to want to do more lessons. You know? It makes them want to go harder. So that recognition, you know what I'm saying? And it goes with even on a carnal note or a sense of pride of taking care of your bodily appearance, man. You know? Uh, or, or taking care of your household or having things in your house. And sincerely, not, not do it in jest or do it in belittlement or derogatory. You do it in a fashion of exhorting that brother like you really appreciate it or you think that's dope. And tell that brother, yo, that's nice, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got a sense of pride, but we can't be uh, narcissistic about it and always think about ours. You know what I'm saying? To, you, the scriptures say you gotta know how to abound and you gotta know how to abase. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta know everybody wants that honor. Everybody wants that high level dignity. But don't, don't realize that sometimes making yourself low is raising yourself up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a balance because scriptures also say make not thyself an underling to someone that's above thee. So you don't gotta sit there and praise somebody that that's already getting praised. That, that's what they're looking for. They're doing it to, to make you look crazy. But you know, we all brothers in this ministry, man. You know what I'm saying? A brother doing a nice lesson. You know, a brother got a nice necklace on, man. He do a nice necklace. You know, or things like that. You know, you praise that brother, man. You exhort that brother. You know what I'm saying? To to uh to lift that brother up, to build that brother's confidence, man. You know, I, I understand the, the 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 notion that we should be confident, but confidence also can't be be instilled in you, man. You know, that's what your that's that's what you know your woman's for, man. You know, that's what a, that's what your woman could come in and help you with too, is, is being a confidence booster. You know, your woman's supposed to be your help me in your tower of defense. You know, that's that's why the scriptures say a woman, you know, a wicked woman abateth the courage. What you think a righteous woman does? She increases your courage. She tells you you can do it. She tells you you the shit. You know what I'm saying? She tells you these things to give you that confidence. Now, as a man, yeah, you're supposed to have confidence. But there's times we're human, man. We can't get in that, that, that sense of saying, yeah, I'm a man. We all should have confidence all the time. Like, 
man, come on, man, let's be real. You're not gonna have that all the time. You're not gonna be in that in that in that solid 100% moment, or else we'll be in our natural bodies, or else we'll have the faith to 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 um make men rise up and walk, because the Lord gave us that power. We'll be able to walk on water. We'll be able to do these things, because confidence coincides with faith, also, man. We're being there just doing things based off of confidence. We're being there doing unbelievable tasks and putting ourselves out there on unbelievable levels. Confidence does slow you down. You know what I'm saying? And, and to say that you just got this unbelievable confidence because, you know, we, we, we watched this particular video or we read this particular book, you know, and, and you're just supposed to have it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I understand. You, we speak things into existence. We watch things. We study things. But that doesn't solidify confidence from there on. That increases your confidence. Your woman increases your confidence. But is exhorting you increases your confidence. And then you you reciprocate that by actions, and, and and by establishing it through through your actions to um increase that confidence. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just how I, I just want to put that out there, like. You know, don't don't be so narcissistic about yourself. You know, and this is something that I, I've dealt with. You know, brothers in the camp deal with. You know, and I see, and I just think it's, it's a beautiful thing to go over because it's an ego check, man. It's a character check. You know, because at the end of the day, I do a lot of things as character check or character based because at the end of the day, our character is what's going to deliver us. Our our uh, our honor and our glory is gonna be be the what's gonna deliver us, because the work does do it, but the inner man is what the Lord is dealing with. Because you can do the work all you want, but if you're a fucking nigga at your table, or you you basically a fairy, a wicked Pharisee, man, a person that does everything that the book says, textbook wise, but you're a piece of shit in reality, man, and you're just doing things. And you know the law enough to weasel your way through in and throughout this truth. Like we, we have to work on our inner man. You know, you don't want to be that. You know, like uh, I think that brother Mike Allen in, in Dallas. You know, so one of the brothers in Dallas mentioned that man, and it, it really stuck with me. You don't want to be that that person when you walk in a room that you take the you take the the, the good vibe out of the room, man. You want to be that brother that people look forward to being around because you make them better, man. You know what I'm saying? Not only smarter and more intelligent, but you make them feel better. You make their vibe. You make them feel like a man of the Lord. You make them want to be a man of the Lord. That's very key, man. The Lord said, "The Lord said, oh, you love me, feed my sheep." You know, one thing is the most, the, the perennial thing is with these, with the scriptures, man. But you gotta build brother's character too. You know, one thing I pride myself on as, as a, a, um, a camp head and as a, a coach and a teacher is not teaching a person everything that they need to know, but teaching them to teach themselves and have them understand. That way I only gotta teach you one time. I don't gotta keep repeating it and repeating it until you get it and then later on you figure out why I said it type of deal. I pride myself in, in being able to convey something to you to the point that you understand right then and there, and then I can leave, and and you can teach somebody else, because you know exactly why a person said this to build you up, man. I'm not, because you can teach somebody and be and be showing showing off. You know, as a as a boxing coach, we got two box club, me and myself, and, and, and another person, and the, you know, other people sit there and tell you things. They're constant critiquing, you're doing that wrong, you're doing that wrong, you're doing that wrong, you're doing that wrong. And it's like, the person is discouraged because it's, that's all they hear is what they're doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta, it's, it's, you show that person how to do one thing right and say, look, you're doing that good, man. Keep that up, that's how you do it. Good job, I see you catch on fast. I'm not gonna bullshit you. I ain't gonna give you no participation trophy in when you suck ass that other shit and I'm going to say you're doing it right. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you you're doing that particular thing right. Do that and we're going to move on to the next thing. And then I reassure your confidence. I reassure your confidence by telling you, look, you're always going to be doing something wrong. There's always going to be something I can tell you. 
but fix the things that I tell you in particular. But then you got other people that I teach and they just want to throw out their knowledge. See, this is how you throw a hook. This is how you do it like this. And, and you don't want to be in a ministry like that. Like, you know, you hear a brother, you know, in a certain element, you know what I'm saying? And he, if he's in a lower state, you, you lift that brother up, you know, but don't drag yourself into him. Like, say, that was me, man. I'll be like this. And, you know, I'll be, I'll be fast and I go like this. I go hard. You need to do that. It's like, nah, man, like, yeah, that's good that you're doing that. But you build that brother up, man. Go fast with that brother, man. You know? Call that brother. How are you doing on the fast, man? You good? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hungry and motherfucker right now. But, hey, let's read, man. You hungry? Let's read. Let's go get a prayer in. Exhort one another daily, man. When thou comest to eat, tarry one for another, man. It's more than just spitting out information. You know? It's a different than riding for somebody and somebody riding with you. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. You know, you can do the same thing I'm doing, but it's different when you riding with me, man. It's, it's a big difference. You know, it's a big difference when that person telling you go and work on your cardio, you, you suck ass, you, you can't last for a round, but that person running with you, man. Yeah, how shy is, is been through everything we've been through. He, he, not only he been through everything we've be, be been through, but he set the tone, he set the example. You know, as um, there's there's this one, I wish I could put it in post production, there's this one picture where there's this big ass block on wheels, and it shows, you know what I'm saying, um, um, a good leader, man. You know what I'm saying, they got one guy sitting on a block telling the workers to push. And then you got another guy on the block sitting, you know, um, not on the block, but you got another guy pushing, you no, know, it's three blocks. You got one guy, you know, uh, um, sitting on the block telling everybody to push. The leader sitting on the block telling everybody to push. You got one guy, the leader that's pushing the block by itself, that's uh, letting all the workers sit on the block. And then you got a, another guy that's pushing, the leader that's pushing the block with the workers. Encouraging them to move forward. That's a leader you want to be. The person that's sitting on the block is just barking out orders. Do this, do that. Like your woman when you move. Like, you know, if you got your rib and you moving, ah, now nah, twist it to the side, move it like this. You know, your brothers know what I'm talking about in jest, man. They, they, I do it like this. Hey, move this over, not realize this shit heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going through what I'm going through, so you, it, your, your opinion is not respected, you know? And then you got the person that's doing all the work, the leader that's doing all the work, while the workers are just pussyfoot. You don't want to be that guy either. You don't want to be the person that's saying, come on, brother, come on, you know what I'm saying? You got to go, you got to go. And you, you're you doing all the work. I got, matter of fact, you put it down, but I got you, don't worry about it. You're a man of the Lord. I, I was, no, man, because you're going to make that brother lazy, man. You work, they work, and you encourage them while they work, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the, the leader doesn't do as much as the workers because he has to observe. He has to be more cognitive than, than the workers. You know what I'm saying? But now, getting back within the camp, man, if you want, you know, you want the ministry to rock a certain way and you want the brothers to be in a certain element, man, you got to exhort them, man. You got to, you know, encourage them. Ask them reasons why. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something I wanted to put out there. I thought it was a, um, an interesting thing to go over. I wanted to go in more detail and pull out scriptures and things like that. But, you know, I kept, I'm, I'm you, see, I, you know, I'm on plan T. Then when I get off shit, I, you know, dog ass tired, man, you know? So I just, I didn't, but you know, that's neither here nor there. May the most high give me strength to, uh, to uh, be able to be in the spirit to, uh, and give me the energy to put out these lessons because the Lord, as I said a long while ago, the Lord ain't gonna put you in a situation that you can't execute, you know? So this ain't nothing but Satan right here and, and through the spirit of the Most High, uh, we shall overcome, I shall overcome and put out, bring that heat, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with that being said, I want to say, call the Lord to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechal, Kodash. I want to say, Dabahansah, Apostles, who are elders, rule well, bless the salutations to your brothers out there teaching and doing truth and sincerity.
Pastor Sarah Habatham Sequiam. Shalom.